How's it going, everybody? It's Thursday night. That means it's in death night. We are on cycle four in season five, starting in purgatory. We're sitting on 1.422 million points, and we are about to enter cycle four. Now, things are getting a little more tense, um, but still only taking single damage. So this is our last cycle to really um, take risks. Um, we're going to try not to, but we're going to move along pretty quickly. So, let's get into it. This one is a fairly dangerous building, especially here on the left. What I tend to do with this is actually jump up on that far left balcony. And that way I can deal with things as they come through the door and yet use that outer wall to shield me. So let's start first down there to see if there's anything on behind this rock. Because sometimes there is. Uh, let's take a quick look. 1.422. Full health. Uh, most of the full quiver of cat fives. Three wraths of God. Full winter's bite and two-thirds of a quiver of Tempest. All right, let's go. Okay, we're good here. Let's stop and listen for the orphan, because sometimes there's an orphan over there. Hear anything? No? Nope. Right, let's head for the balcony. This is why we get here. Shot it through the hand. All right, let's uh, sneak a little bit to the right. Not much. Oftentimes I will go ahead and take out those monks up there because I don't want to come down that long hallway and face them firing down the hallway. So I'm giving my controller a little warm up here because it's acting a little funny. Okay. Well, let's... You saw another one spawn right over there as soon as that one died. We're not going to worry about those. We're going to enter the bottom of this building over here and work our way up. That guy there may see us lots of monks up here. Let's go on up top. Just there were so many monks. Let's go on all the way to the top. There were just so many monks that, I, that you know, three there. There's a couple right down here. I just didn't, uh, I didn't want to approach that building and have all those things aggro on me, so. The one is not coming after me. Okay, back down. Now we'll climb. Feel much safer now. Hmm. Don't need that, but that's nice to know it's there. So 
we got a courtyard over there and we got that long hallway there. I want to go up the other side now that I've cleared out that the monks from the end and let's go around the outside here. Okay. All right. I know that was some bad shooting, but I was worried that there might be a pit there. There's not, so. Okay, so we've got three bloods here in case we need them, which we almost did right there. Okay. We'll let these guys come to us rather than sit there and dodge their arrows in a hallway like a crazy person. Just decided to stop, which is fine. Okay, and I got this guy already. So that is zone one. All right, moving on. I'm curious what's in the, the store here. All right, remember, we got three blood sitting over there in the first zone that we can. Have another one there. Cataclysm three. And nothing. Nothing in the shop. I'd love to see a. Shush. Yeah. Have to make do. This is another hard zone. Going directly into that building, typically pretty dangerous. I like to jump in over here first. Most of the time, those guys don't see me, but this guy did. And I pulled everything else and they just heard a, a, a arrow being drawn behind me, so we'll come back over here. Since we've alerted pretty much everything in, uh, in that building, we'll just make a, a kill funnel here on, on this balcony. Um, oh look, Unholy Wind, another super duper drop. So far, this drop, the drops in this run, pretty horrible. another blood. So there's five bloods there total. Three in the previous zone, one there. One in the shop. I thought I heard a orphan laughing.
Basically, those knights will draw about halfway here. They'll stop. Just doing a little target practice. And I know, and you're like, target practice on your own time, bud. And you're right. Uh, let's work on these monks over here. <laughs> Super dramatic. Yeah, I think I got, I do have knights coming this time. I uh, also got another monk. Yeah, going to the left, my controller's a little wonky. Turning left. I think I'm warming up, though. All right, let's move on in. Monk first. Okay. See what all we got right here. Should be. Not horrible, but definitely not something I can use now. We'll hop on across. Yeah, my winner's bite full. The only thing I'm full on. All right, I think that is part two almost in the books. Let's go into the pit, see what we got. Immolation. Okay, I want to be there. Okay, the orphan has seen me already. If we don't get the orphan, that's just how it's going to be. I heard, a, I heard a ghost coming, and I definitely have, I have archers, and I have knights, and I have melee skelet, skelly archers, and I find it super unlikely that I'm going to get the orphan, because I've only got three, and I might get her with the Tempest, Tempest is a... Actually, a really good weapon to use against the skeleton archers. Should we go back up and see if she's up there? She is. I do have the other winner's fight, remember? Okay, back down. All right, I expect to have a whole bunch of stuff coming at me now, but I did get the orphan. I'm super thrilled about that. All right, uh, four, four ghosts. Now I need to be really, really good with my aim here because I, I really don't have anywhere to go. One of the things that's interesting though about the ghosts is that when they're coming at you, if you shoot fast enough, you can actually stop their momentum and they'll stop in their tracks. All right, let's... Uh, All 
I mean, thank God for Winter's Bite, right? Thought I heard a, a knight, I mean, a ghost coming at me through the wall. That went pretty well. There's one there. Okay. I'd say I'm warming up a little bit. I would say so. All right. Um, I don't know what that is. Okay, that's a knight. That's fine. So we've got one ghost coming. So is it my imagination, or are there are no skeleton archers? I thought there were skeleton archers. When I saw all those skeletons there, I thought some of them clearly had to be archers. But is it like double skeleton melee? Which is fine. That's what I wanted. All right. So I think I prefer to go around that way. So let's go and see if there's any. Okay, nothing here. We've got one ghosty here. We're pretty clear, and we can start pulling stuff. Let's see if there's anything in the tunnel there. Oftentimes there's a a flock of a bombs there. So we're gonna let this incubus come to us and then we'll start pulling that stuff over there after we kill him there we go surprised I didn't pull anything with the miss I just made and that ghost and that ghost and we'll pull that incubus too we'll just do everything from here I think we'll be perfectly fine two ghosts So just sitting there, I had the chance to think back, and I was pretty, really pretty fortunate that Orphan hung around as long as it did. Because once it saw me, typically, typically they fly the coop pretty quickly. So really pretty surprised that she was still there. That was really nice. Long-range target practicing. Trying to get a headshot from here. Nope. 
I think the other monk's actually running, or the other knight is actually on his way over here. Okay. I have four ghosts, two incubi, and a couple of knights. So, you know, that's not very scary. Let's go ahead and pull this guy, see what happens. Practicing on headshots from a distance here. Okay, got two ghosts coming. All right. So I got three ghosts over there. Let's fire it through there and see if anything pulls. Okay. Am I warming up? I think so. Got three. So that sort of startled me. All right. And let's go up top. There's a knight. Good. Uh, uh oh, oh that one sneaky. Shoot. Well. I think he's the last thing in here. Oh no, I heard another ghost. I think he's the last the last thing in here. So let's go back up top. I like to approach the this from up here so I can grab any of the stuff. Winter's bite three. Nothing. Nothing that I want. The drops in this particular zone have been horrible okay so that's the second zone plus the pit i think we've done it with no damage so far which is really pretty pretty nice as we all know that's always the goal not going into the store there's no point there's nothing there of any value And we do remember we do have let's go get that winner's bite i don't want to go too far away before getting that so blood all right well there's something The main reason I got that was because if I happen to run across a uh, orphan, because I don't want to use my cat fives, and three wraths are not going to do anything to help us with the orphan. So if I run across an orphan, which I do expect to do, then uh, I wanted to have to shit. Now, good thing we got plenty of bloods. Back that away. Of course, I still get the one from Anakin, so. Gotta always worry about that. When he jumps and thrusts like that, he's got a really long range. Yeah, another one in sight. Look at that. And there's the orphan. Let's go.
Did I get her? No. Okay, this is gonna be fun. I got hit. I think I got a whole nother winner's bite there. Okay, I take I took two hits. I have uh, all of those bloods, remember? In the first zone, which I can go back to. Plus, I've got one in the shop still. Oh, totally out of winner's bites. Surprise. My aim's definitely warmed up. out and around okay is that an incursion that's interesting I do like incursion against Anakin on higher levels I wouldn't necessarily consider this a high level just yet though I think I'm taking that though just to demonstrate it to you. Good. We'll take out these guys. Golden bat. And a wildfire. Again, nothing of any interest to me. Alright. Normally I would do a little target practice with those guys, but I don't want to with two damage already in hand. Check if there's anything down here, and there are. Yeah, I want to check outside just to see if they're yet. One more look. Okay, good. Keeping the incursion in the back of my mind here. If I don't get anything good, I may swap my Wrath of God. Use the Wrath of God and come back and get the incursion for Anakin just to demonstrate its use in that setting. out in the open here in just a minute. Okay, move around the corner. All right, now we'll just peep around here and see what's what.
might be it for upstairs. It is. Okay. Go downstairs. I'm going to use my Wraths of God just because. What the hell? It's like it embedded itself in the ground and didn't didn't do anything. All right, I got one left. We'll go over here. Yoo-hoo! Actually, after you kill a bunch of those and you start getting headshots, you get bonus points for the executioner because you killed a bunch of things in fairly short succession. jump out to see if there's a monk out here. Oftentimes there is, and there is not. So let's go get the incursion and we'll, we'll replace Wrath of God with that. And I'll show you how to seed Anakin's platform before going down there. It's good because I don't have a whole a whole quiver of Wrath, I mean of uh, Cat 5s, so I think it was in there. Yep, incursion. All right, well, let's do it. I mean, what's it going to hurt? Based on my horrible drops, I don't certainly don't want to waste my Tempest because I'm going to need them on Gabriel. So, you know. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump in here. Oh, I'm down to health, too. Uh, well, I don't want to put you through me chasing down health. So I'll just grab this one and see if we get two. If not, we may go into the next zone. Minus one health. We'll pick that up. Yep. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to seed his platform with these incursions. We're going to fire every single one of them right down there by his feet. Then we're going to jump down and hit him in the face with a winner's bite. And then... Load him up with uh, cat fives, and that should end him. We're going to fire all these down here. Some of these are blowing up because they're hitting him. Trying to get him down right where his feet are going to be. I think I got them all. All right, jump down. Winner's bite. Cat fives. Watch that health. Two bloods. All right, so we are going into Paradise Lost with all of our Winner's Bite, all of two thirds of our Tempest. We didn't use any of those. I used just a handful of my Cat Fives, and I burned my, I burned all my incursions, and I did that intentionally. So full health, and because I can never remember my starting score, uh, we will you what we scored in that run ending with 1.696 mil got both orphans which was great and where are you oh hi there you are and finished that zone took a little damage ended up full health still okay we'll see you here next week we'll jump into paradise lost four run through that in the meantime have a great week and we'll see you later bye now